Hello everyone, this is Power Dog. So this video is a um it's kind of a video to catch up on this washing machine which months and months ago I did a video of this um when it was new testing it and kind of like a review type video. I don't know what that is in there, let me just take it out. So I'm going to do kind of a review type video of this washing machine after however long I've been using it. So, yeah. So the first problem with this is that in the dryer section, oh, it's kind of filled with water right now. But usually um, in the dryer section, there's mold or something that gets in there. Even when you drain the machine, it still gets moldy and I've opened it before to try to attempt to clean it, but the way that it's built, if I were to actually attempt to remove this barrel and just clean out underneath there, I would need to, it's kind of watery right now. I would, not only would I need to remove the back, which I've done before, but I would have to um, remove all these screws at the bottom and disconnect all the knobs on the top it's a lot of effort, so um, I wouldn't do that. I think I'd just leave it and like put chemicals in there or something to kill the mold. Um, so, in fact, actually, another thing with this washing machine is that the the brakes that were on the dryer, I think the cable that connected them snapped. So. Uh, now the dryer kind of spins freely, so what used to happen was that when you open the top of it, the spin dryer would shut off, and then the brakes would kind of get it to stop. But instead of that happening, the spin dryer kind of just keeps on turning and doesn't stop, which could be kind of dangerous. I'll show you that. So I think I'm filming this upside down. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so I just had to quickly switch locations because I filmed upside down. And um, I need to plug it in, so I have it plugged in here. Um, so here's what I mean with the dryer. You see what I mean? The dryer usually stops automatically, but you see when I open it now, it continues to turn at really high speeds, which could be dangerous. So, um, yeah, there's that. On the washing machine part, that still works fine, except I think the belt that spins this, I think the belt is beginning to go bad because I hear it make some like crazy vibrating sometimes. Let me show you. But to me, it seems as if it's probably something with the belt. Um, now I'm going to just take this back part off and show you what I had to do to get, the, to get this to work without the brakes. Because usually there's like this on top here. There's like a cable on the top that you kind of pull it and then it's supposed to engage the brake on the motor for the dryer. I'll just show you. Okay, here we are. So you can kind of see the metal cable. I had to, so down there, that's where the brake is. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but that thing on top of that motor, that's the motor for the dryer and that's the brake. Over here, you can see the belt that controls, uh, the belt that controls the washing part. You can see pieces of shredded belt on the top. Let me just, Seems to be fine. Um, anyway, 
So I have to kind of screw this, um, screw the end of this cable that used to go to the brake. I have to just put it here. And um, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, that's how this washing machine has been doing over time. It's actually still pretty good. Oh, one thing I notice is inside of this hose gets dirty and I'm not too sure how, how to um, remove it to clean it out. But anyway, um, that was the washing machine after however many months of use. Um, so I'll see you next time.